hello everyone and welcome back so in today's video what we are going to be doing is solving the fourth problem of educational dp contest and now that we have already solved the first three problem you must have got the basic idea how to approach dynamic programming questions so before we move on with this video i would like you guys to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell icon so that you guys get notification whenever i upload new content so without any further delay let's jump to today's problem so today's problem is knapsack and chances are you guys must have already heard about this problem so for those who don't know what knapsack is i will just read the problem statement so there are n items number from 1 to n and each item has some weight and some value associated with that and tarot had decided to take some of the items from n items and carry them home in a knapsack so knapsack is just like a bag where you can put some items and the capacity of the knapsack is w so this means that the sum of the weights of item which are put into knapsack can be at most w okay so what we have to do here we have to find the maximum possible sum of the values of item that tarot can take so imagine if we have the weight of knapsack at w and the sum of the items which we put in the knapsack shouldn't exceed the value of w so that's what it mentioned here and we have to maximize our solution so let's read the input for today's problem and input here is n and w so n here represent the number of items and w represent the weight or the capacity of the knapsack and the following line represents the w1 and v1 value so item 1 has the weight 1 and the value v1 so let's see how we'll solve this problem okay i have taken one example here and we have three items and each item has some weight and some value associated with it and the knapsack capacity here is 5 and we will be solving it using dynamic programming and we'll have a two dimension dp and it will have the size of n cross c plus 1 where n represents the number of elements and c represents the capacity of the knapsack so what we are going to be doing is we will make each element of dp array as 0 so this is the first step and let's see what each element of dp array represents so dp of i comma c means we have items from 1 to i and c here means capacity c so what is the maximum value with item from 1 to i that have a total weight of less than or equal to c okay so that's what dp of i comma c represents now let's define the recurrence relation so for base condition we'll have dp of i comma 0 as 0 why because if the capacity is 0 how many elements we have or items it doesn't matter we can't put that into knapsack since the capacity is 0 so the maximum value which we can get is 0 now what if the items weighted less than or equal to capacity then we have two condition either to choose that item i or to exclude that item so if we include that item i then we'll include its value and whatever the remaining weight is there uh, what is the best we can do with the remaining weight so since we have already taken the item as i we can't take the same item again so we'll go one step up and find the best with the remaining weight so so that's what it written here now the second thing is uh, what if we don't include the item i at all so that means we'll go just one step up that is i minus one and we'll have the same capacity because we are not including that item so we'll have the maximum of this of both value and uh, what happens if the weight of item uh, is greater than capacity of the knapsack so in that case we won't include that item because 
uh, since the weighted mode it can't be put into knapsack it will just simply discard that item so that that is dp of i minus one comma c okay so that's written here and let's try to fill the dp uh, table here so i have taken the same recursive relation here and let's try to fill the dp table so here column represents the the capacity of the knapsack so in our case and uh, the capacity is 5 and let's start from 0 to 5 and this row represents the weight of each item so it's 1 2 3 now let's see what happens for capacity 0 so if the knapsack capacity is 0 i have already told you that we can't put any element in the knapsack so the maximum value will be 0 so that's what is written in these columns so what happens if the knapsack capacity is 1 then that means we can include this item with weight 1 and achieve the value as 1 so that's what is written here and what will be the remaining weight so it will be 1 minus 1 which will be 0 so we can't do anything better than this now let's move to capacity is equal to 2 so for capacity is equal to 2 we have just one item whose weight is 1 so this will be so we'll take this item and put into knapsack so we'll achieve the value of 1 and the remaining weight will be 2 minus 1 which is 1 but since we have only one item to choose from uh, we can't do anything with the remaining knapsack capacity so we'll just have the value 1 and similarly we'll fill for this row 1 once this is done let's see what will happen for i is equal to 2 so i is equal to 2 means that uh, we'll include both the ele uh, element or item 1 or 2 i is equal to 2 does it mean that we'll just include item 2 it means we include both item 1 and, one and 2 so uh, for i is equal to 2 and capacity is equal to 1 since the capacity is less and item weighted mode so this condition will be true and we can't include that item so we'll take the best we have achieved so far by going i minus 1 so which will be 1 and we'll copy it here now similarly for capacity 2 we can include this item with weight 2 and we'll have the value as 3 we'll put it here the remaining weight is 0 so we can't do better than this now similarly for capacity 3 and uh, items weight 2 we'll put that this item into the knapsack and we'll have the value as 3 which is mentioned here and now what what will happen the remaining weight will be 3 minus 2 which will be 1 so what is the best we can do with the remaining weight which is 1 so that is we'll go one step up which will be here and since one remaining weight is 1 we'll go to this column and this is the best we can do with weight 1 so i'll copy this value and this will be 3 plus 1 which is 4 now the second so this is done for this step and what uh, will happen if we don't include that item at all so that will be uh, going one step up and that will be one so four comma one the maximum is four so that's what it put here and similarly we'll fill for each element now at last we'll have this value which means that with capacity five and including all the three items we achieve the value as 7 so this will be your answer so if you have understood this let's try to solve and convert this into code okay so let me see the input so we have to first take n and w in the first line and let me just open the custom test so this is the custom test and let me just zoom in so i'll take n and w w here i will take as c let me just put it so 
type the value of n and c now we'll store these value of the blue and v so I, so i'll have two array which will be weight array and value array now i'll have a loop which will run till n because we have n elements and i'll take the input for each case that will be i'll put each weight in the weight array and each weights corresponding value in value array so this is done so we have taken all the input now the next step is to initialize the dp array so this will be equal to what so dp size will be n cross c plus 1 so and its value will be initialized to 0 so let me just write it here And we are in this legend with zero. And also, I have to run this loop till end. So, so this will in this or DP array to zero. Let's try to print out and see. create the same and put it there okay so we have the dp array as well now the next step is to fill these value so for filling this value we'll go till c plus 1 that it capacity so for c plus 1 this is the capacity and this i will fill into dp of so first we have to check whether the weight which i have which means this i value so i'll check like this so this i represents the capacity so if you see here this 0 1 2 3 4 will loop and for weight 1 means w of 0 so let's say w of 0 is this And I'll check if this weight is less than whatever the this weight is. So let's name it as W or equal to even. So if this is true, what we'll do? DP of zero comma W will be filled with what? We'll fill with the value which we got WI and if the value is greater that means wi value is greater we'll fill the value with zero so what i am saying here is if the if the weight itself is greater then we'll put zero if it's smaller then we'll put the value associated with it so 
here I have done something wrong this will be value of 0 so let's try to print this Yeah, I'm getting the right answer now we have filled this first row now we have to fill the remaining so now what will happen a loop will start from 1 so for let's say i in range 1 to n because we have to go from 1 till n number of rows that's what i'm written here and we'll have wi which will be equal to weight of i and vi equal to value of i now we'll check if current weight of item is less than so before that we have to iterate over the capacity okay so for that i'll take one more loop for w in range now this will start from zero not zero because zero value is already filled here so we'll start from one till c plus one And now we'll compare if current weight of item is less than this capacity which is the blue or even equal to then we have two condition and we'll fill here dp of i comma w equal to max of if we include this item i that will have the value the vi plus dp of i minus 1 and whatever the capacity it left so w minus w i and what if we don't include this item at all that will be dp of i minus 1 and since we don't include this item the capacity will be same that is w so this is what is mentioned in this formula now if the weight is more we won't include that item at all so this will be dp of i w and if we don't include that item this will be equal to this dp of i minus 1 and w so this is the dp value now we simply have to print the answer so for that the answer will be stored in this so this will be equal to n minus 1 and this will be c value so dp of n minus 1 and c now let's see whether we are getting the correct answer okay yeah we are getting 90 and in this case the answer is 90 so let's try to test it for all the input now i'll choose py3 as a language and submit the solution I think it will pass. Yeah, so we are getting AC. That means our answer is accepted. So that's all from my side. If you like my video, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, everyone.